Good evening, Salina. Thank you to everyone who attended our April City Council meeting. Here are some highlights from this evening's City Council meeting. Tonight, I want to take a moment to recognize and celebrate the outstanding achievements of our city's dedicated employees. First and foremost, I'm thrilled to recognize Catherine Oduro, our senior civil engineer, as the recipient of our esteemed Employee of the Year Award for 2023. Catherine's unwavering dedication and passion for service truly embodies the spirit of our community. In addition to Catherine's well-deserved recognition, we also celebrated our Core Value Award winners and honored our staff members who reached milestones of five, 10, and 15 years of service to the city. Your commitment and hard work do not go unnoticed, and all of Council is grateful for all that you do. Tonight, the City Council had the honor of welcoming representatives from four incredible organizations. Sarah Akers from the Child Protective Services Board, Jessica Dunn from CASA of Collin County, Dan Powers from the Children Advocacy Center of Collin County, and Terry Green from Foster Friends. We presented them with a child abuse prevention proclamation highlighting the vital work they do to protect and support our community's children. Furthermore, Assistant City Manager Kimberly Bronner provided an update on the exciting progress of our Government Center schematic design. The Government Center will be a great addition to our downtown area and will serve as a hub for city services including a new public library, office space for staff, and a rooftop community gathering space. Tentatively, Construction is scheduled to begin on the parking garage in October 2024 with the Government Center following in the spring of 2026. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in to tonight's City Council Recap. Your engagement and participation in our community events and meetings are what makes Salina such a special place to live. As a reminder, our City Council meetings take place on the second Tuesday of every month at City Council Chambers. I encourage you all to attend and have your voices heard. Lastly, I urge you to exercise your right to vote. Early voting begins on April 22nd and runs through April 30th with Election Day falling on Saturday, May 4th. Your vote matters and it is essential to shaping the future of our city. Thank you once again, and I look forward to seeing you at our next City Council meeting.